Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and hope you're doing well. To continue with the Y series from last time, today we are presenting the topic of the day, the Great Lakes. Before diving into the video as usual, don't forget to tap that subscribe button to support the channel for weekly content if you haven't done so already. The question is, why are the Great Lakes great? The Great Lakes are made up of five lakes, Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario. They are interconnected. The lakes were created 14,000 years ago during the last ice age and nowadays is the largest freshwater system in the world. Lake Superior is the largest lake in the world by area and the third largest by volume. About 10% of fresh water in the world can be found in Lake Superior. It contains half of the water in all the Great Lakes. The average depth is about 483 feet and maximum of 1,332 feet deep. Another way of saying, if you place the Empire State Building about 1,250 feet on the deepest point in Lake Superior, it will be fully submerged. The interesting thing about Lake Superior is that the shore of the lake does not freeze in the winter and doesn't warm up in the summer either. Next up is Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is the only lake that lies solely in the United States. Hydrologically speaking, Lake Michigan and Lake Huron are basically the same lake. They are connected by the Mackinac Strait. For that reason, the water can flow back and forth depending on the condition. Chicago is the largest city in Lake Michigan and a transportation hub in the mid-1800s to early 1900s thanks to the Illinois and Michigan Canal connecting Michigan Lake with the Mississippi River. Nowadays, the Illinois and Michigan Canal is replaced by the Illinois Waterways. Theoretically, someone can travel from New Orleans to Montreal without having to enter via the Atlantic Ocean thanks to the Mississippi River that connects with Illinois Waterways all the way to Lake Michigan through Chicago. And as mentioned before, all the lakes are interconnected. Travelers can then take the St. Lawrence River to Montreal. Again, theoretically speaking, also, it is closer to take the ferry ride from Michigan to Wisconsin and vice versa through Lake Michigan than a road trip that is 500 miles. But we are absolutely not against the road trips because those are the best thing ever. To continue with Lake Huron, Lake Huron is connected to Lake Superior via the St. Mary's River. Within Huron lies the large Georgian Bay located entirely in Ontario province. Within Georgian Bay lies Manitoulin Island, the largest freshwater island in the world. Here comes the tricky part. Within Manitoulin Island lies Mendemoya Lake, and within Mendemoya Lake lies Treasure Island. In a sense, Treasure Island is the world's largest island on a lake, on an island, in a lake. Uh? Lake Huron then flows south through the St. Clair River into Lake St. Clair and continues to flow into the Detroit River, which empties into Lake Erie. Lake Erie is the smallest of the lakes by volume out of the five and also the shallowest of the Great Lakes. There is a big city that lies on the easternmost of the lake, Buffalo. This city is famous for heavy snowfall due to the cold, dried air that flows over the lake from west to east. Lake Erie is 569 feet above sea level, and when it comes to a drop of 326 feet at Niagara Falls, Lake Erie empties into Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario is home to the largest city in Canada, Toronto. Lake Ontario drops another 246 feet to St. Lawrence River, which eventually connects to the Atlantic Ocean. In summary, the Great Lakes are great because economically, it is the world's most important inland fresh water that provides water for consumption, transportation, power, and recreation. Hydrologically, it holds about 80% of North America's fresh water. Moreover, the Great Lakes waterways had allowed ships to travel from the Atlantic Ocean all the way to Duluth, Minnesota for a total of 2,340 miles.
The Great Lakes Basin is also home to many big industrial centers and corporations, such as GM, Chevrolet, Ford, Cadillac, Ally Financial, DTE Energy, Quicken Loans, and many more. That's it for today. What do you think about the Great Lakes and have you ever visited the Great Lakes? Let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, go out and explore.